captain, bouncing away inside 50, tackled but was able to dob it off to Holmes and then into the pocket. And that's a very strong mark, taken of course by Erin Phillips, who else? She plays on straight away, top of the square, and Perkins has been paid the mark. So Perkins gets her second chance, it makes no mistake, and she is pumped. Oh, excellent transition of play. They got the out number, they won the free kickoff half back, and then had three players all by themselves inside forward 50 who were able to work well together as a team and get it to Erin Phillips, who I love, was unselfish in this situation. You've got to be better as a defender and not leaving your, your forward there alone. Pressure on Neves comes for the dogs, but beaten by Bevan. Oh, lunging tackle. Save the day for the Bulldogs. Takes the Bulldogs nearing the 50. Carney coming through and threatening. The ball squirting out the wild. Deep kick towards full forward. Oh, Brennan must have just been slight interference. And look at this belief. And Taylor Thorne's face. The skipper for the Bulldogs. First goal. She kicked two last week. Katie Brennan, the famous number three. And it's through. It's the goal they needed. It might energize this group. They're looking a little flat. So it's the Bulldogs by three points. Erin Phillips, superstar basketballer, and making a real impact in the AFLW. Kicks it up towards. Sedenry who's proved how dangerous she was in the first quarter and she's rolled her way through the 50 and made no mistake. Holmes decides to go, Killian inside 50 and puts it on the chest of Perkins again. So here she is, a goal already to her name tonight. Sarah Perkins, a couple of marks. And what a difference this would make if she can kick truly from 40 metres, she's riding it home. And it gets there, and look at the excitement. The Adelaide Crows lead extends to 10 now, 3 4 22. Blackburn straight down the middle, it's gone over the head, and that will allow McLeod to get dangerous. And did she get a shove? Apparently so. She's got some genuine leg speed. She's holding her ankle as well here, a little bit of a limp. She's just got to judge the breeze enough. Comes in with that skip, only a couple of steps, it's touch and go, it's all go for the Bulldogs. Around the corner, Spark had to stand her ground, she knew it, she knew they were coming for her. This is Adelaide's first inside 50 of the quarter, into the breeze, she gives it plenty, off the hands of the pack, Rachel Killian in the right spot at the right time. Marinoff. Half a chance towards full forward. Stayed in. Stays in. McCormick. Oh, oh, what a goal by McCormick. It could be a killer blow. Into the breeze. It doesn't seem to matter at the moment. Another opportunity. The ball just dribbling towards the goal square. Trying to track it down. Kelly Gibson. Randall shows them how to do it. Her screw kick marked by Carney, who was all... Well, she was almost off, and in the end, she's got herself 50. Wow. How valuable is that? And 50 as well, the call has been. So I think that was the hit, and then there may be a little bit the more hit. afterwards. So that's the downfield. Really, not much in that. Oh, and then another little, uh, <laughs> another little hit. And now a 50-metre penalty as well. Asked to come back off the mark three times. Didn't move back, so a 50-metre penalty paid. And it's just a stroll in, and Angela Foley puts through the goal for the Adelaide Crows.